Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Kelsey, of course. Welcome to another very passionate vlog. Listen up, listen up, we got a project, okay? For this video, we are going to be making a skirt. We're using the free pattern from Your Inspirations. It is the Patton's Regent Park Granny Square Crochet Skirt. So we're using all of the yarn that we got in our box in a different vlog, if you watched that one you should have and there's like three there's three more we have quite a quite a few of these and yeah basically i need to work on this and we're just gonna go through the process we're gonna film it for tiktok and stuff and we're just gonna see how long it takes the yarn is pretty small gotta say it is a three weight and the pattern calls for a 3.5 millimeter hook so i haven't made anything this small as in like with a small hook and small yarn in a long time. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it together. Of course. The first thing I will be doing is my gauge swatch because I am a responsible adult. And I said that last time I did a gauge swatch, I'm pretty sure. And then I didn't end up using that gauge swatch. Um, <laughs> But hopefully this time it'll work out, you know? So, uh, like I said, the pattern is free and I can put a link to it in the video description if you want. This is not my pattern. I don't own it. I can't make a video tutorial for it. I'm sorry. Where, how, what? Hello? Oh my gosh. No, actually, okay. I'm getting a different one. That was much better. When people are doing like micro crochet, this is what I imagine. Cause look, this is tiny. All right guys, look, look, I've done it and I measured it and it's good. So we're gonna have to make no changes and we can get started. This is a rare occurrence. <laughs> Yay. The pattern is like a little mini skirt kind of thing that is made up of a bunch of different kinds of granny squares. So, uh, well, I need to figure out what size to make. So let me measure my hips. My hips are supposedly 37 inches, which puts me right in between sizes, like I always am. I am going to make the small size. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let's take this apart. Block one is granny squares and I need to make four of them. Oh yeah, which colors are which? I'm gonna write which contrast, like which letter they are on the thing. So this is A. Just that'll help me throughout the process. Do you think we can make three granny squares today? They're real tiny. Real tiny. It's also 3.30 p.m. Two rows in. I'll update you. Okay. We have officially finished our first square besides weaving in these little ends because I will be weaving in my ends as I go. That's just the kind of gal that I am. Look, I like the colors. These are good colors for a granny square. What do you think? It is 3.52 now. So I think that took, I don't know, what did I say earlier? It was 3.30. It took over just over 20 minutes. That's not bad. Need to make a few more. Do I want to make all all of the squares at once or do I want to make like one of each square over and over again? Does that make sense? There's like, there. how many squares are there? There's six squares. And I think I need four of each. So like, you know, do I want to make four of these and then go to the next one and make four of those? Or do I want to make 
all of them once and then start over and do all of them again four times. It'd probably be smarter to make all of the same squares at once. Okay, well, I actually decided that I'm going to make one of each block today for my TikTok. So it's like, I'll be wearing the same outfit the whole time, you know. Anyway, the next block is like just stripes. So working on that. I am getting used to the smaller yarn and smaller hook. So we're progressing quite nicely, I wanna say. This is also the first time I've ever done the herringbone half double crochet stitch. So fun times. Finished our stripey square. They go together lovely. It's getting dark basically. So I think I'm just gonna work on these for the rest of the night. We'll see, maybe I'll do some of the other squares. I don't know. There's like a sunburst granny square and a mushroom granny square and then like an off center granny stitch granny square. So I'm just gonna be working on these. I'm going to finish watching Avatar The Last Airbender, the animated series, and then I'm gonna watch the live action movie. I think it's a movie. And then we're gonna watch the live action TV show, the new one. We just finished watching the last episode of the animated Avatar series. The last episode was like super long. It was like over an hour. I made this and this very close to being done. And uh, don't be mad at me, but overall, not a huge fan. Not a huge fan of the TV show. I think probably if I watched it as a, as a kid, whenever it was coming out, I probably would have liked it. But as an adult, it was actually really hard for me to get through. I was trying to watch it on my own, like while Caesar was at work, and I literally was like, I can't get through the episodes. I can't make myself pay attention. It is so boring. I know you guys are gonna be so mad at me, okay? Just calm down. So now we are going to watch the live action movie that came out in 2010. Caesar said that he's only seen half of it, and he said he won't tell me why. I'm assuming that he hated it so much that he turned it off. He says it's terrible. Many people say it's terrible. The Rotten Tomatoes score is 5%, which is very low. Okay, here's my assumptions. I think people didn't like the movie because they were big fans of the animated TV show, and me not being a huge fan of the animated TV show, I feel like the movie is gonna be like no big deal to me. You know? But anyway, we're gonna watch it and then I'll let you know how I feel after that. What do you think? Hmm? Did you like it? No opinions. Sokka is Jasper. <laughs> Sokka is Jasper. Movie's finished. I finished all four of these granny squares that we need to do. The other one's in my, in my room, yeah. And then I finished another striped one. So I have two, I need to make two more. The movie um, was just boring. It wasn't bad enough to be funny, which sucked. So it was it was just lame. They said everyone's name wrong. Uncle Iroh sucked, didn't like him. And uh, the firebenders can't make fire for some reason. I don't, that was weird. And then it also, it ended whenever uh, the girl turned into the moon. So I went into this expecting the movie to be like the whole entire show, so. Lame. Now we're gonna watch the first episode of the new live action TV show. All right, back in my room. So overall, first episode of Avatar, the last airbender live action TV show was pretty good. I liked it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have much to say really. It was pretty dark, like, well, and I'm not, it was like dark to watch, like pretty much all newer movies and stuff. So we turned off the lights, so I kind of like stopped crocheting a little bit. This is how far I got into my third striped square. We're about halfway done, you know? So after our first day working on the skirt, which I started around 3.30 and I took breaks on and off. Okay, we have four of our little granny squares done. Ta da there's four of those. I have two fully finished of our striped 
squares and then plus the half. Working with the small yarn and the small hook is definitely getting much easier. These like regular granny squares, they flew by even with like tying off the yarn on all, uh, what, seven rows? Yeah. These are actually taking longer just because of the herringbone half double crochet. I think I need to get used to it because I've never done it before. But like yarning over and going through and like pulling through two loops immediately is kind of hard. You almost have to like turn your hook backwards. Anyway, I'm going to be going to bed now and we will be continuing work on this tomorrow. Hopefully we can get a lot done. Hey, good morning. Welcome to day two of our skirt making process. I am going to continue making these striped ones. We need two more because we are going to be doing four of each square. So far, I mean, I've only made two, but this one is my least favorite because the herringbone half double crochet takes a while. I'm hoping to get a lot done today. We're starting good. I got up early. We're, it's 10 o'clock right now. I took my dogs out, had my breakfast, so we're on track. So I'll see you around. And it has a little vent that you can twist and then you lock it and it can't come out. I'm thinking maybe I could do another live stream today. It is the weekend, so maybe people will watch it. The last one went okay. My only dilemma is like, is it going to be sucking out all of my energy and then the rest of the day will be not the best? Oh wait, no. Caesar told me he would take me to get Thai food tonight, so nothing can ruin my day unless we don't go get Thai food later. <laughs> So yeah, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go live on YouTube on my phone and I'm I'm just gonna do a real simple like vertical live stream just like I did last time. I think I'm gonna start now because it's eleven o'clock and then I'll stream just like until I need to take my dogs out. That gives me three hours. Usually I am pretty sick and tired of it after three hours. So wish me luck. I'm gonna try to stay on top of the chat today. We'll see. I'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully it's um, good. Hi Samantha, hi Elizabeth, hi Zoni, hi Annie, hi Dana, hi BTS Army, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, well it's, it's 1240. The live only lasted about an hour and 15 minutes. I had to leave because it was getting out of hand. Um, all we did was finish the striped one and I started to try to work on a uh, sunburst granny square which I will now continue doing by myself yeah I had to leave in the beginning like there was a lot of spamming which is normal people spam all the time I was just trying to block a lot of them uh, well not block I only block them if they're doing something really bad but you know I put them in timeout for 24 hours so that they can't chat anymore you know just like the longer I was on the worse that it got men started coming in they were saying some pretty disgusting and horrible things to me so i left i'm not gonna deal with that hopefully it'll get better in the future i want to continue doing lives i like doing it i like talking to the nice people that are there for fun and just you know to hang out and be nice and crochet together like you know it's a nice community and i just i don't want people to ruin it so I added a mod, so hopefully they can help out with anyone that's spamming, and then I put in a bunch of blocked words and phrases. So hopefully the next live that I do will be a lot better, so. Yeah, I'm gonna move on, and I'm gonna try to make this sunburst granny square. I've officially finished my first sunburst granny square. It's, um, mm, it's a little wonky. Yeah, anyway, it's two o'clock. I gotta take my dogs out. I'm gonna eat a little snack. I don't wanna eat a full lunch because I want to save my hunger for Thai food later. <laughs> and we'll keep working. I think I'm gonna find something to do, like something else. I'm, I haven't been doing anything. I've just been sitting in silence and to like reading the pattern and figuring it out. I don't, I wanna do something else, like listen to music or watch a TV show or a podcast or like a movie or something. We've officially finished all four of our sunburst granny squares. Here they are, in all their glory, all the weaves, all the ends, you know, all the, you know what I mean. So we have four, eight, I think we're close to halfway. 
-hmm. Our next square is called the mushroom block. I've never made one of these for sure. I don't know if it's actually a square or if it's a square that the pattern has like designed. Obviously it's an actual square, but like, you know how like the granny square is a, is a square and the sunburst granny square is a, a known square. So like, I don't know if this is like a known square. Am I, this makes no sense. I, I think it's, it's pretty much just like a blue square and it has a red mushroom on it. You know, classic red top mushroom. There's no yet yeah, white spots on it though. But let's see if we can do it, okay? Aha, uh aha, -huh, aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay. Let me tell you, writing the color letters and Sharpie on the thing has been so helpful, so helpful. All right, round one. You can just leave it like that. Tiny mushroom, there you go. think this worked anyway um I'm gonna be going to get some food now <laughs> dinner was really good I decided to take a break from working on the squares I got this yarn in the mail today the box came and I opened it up and I was like "Ooh, pretty so I decided to take a break and make some scrunchies and we're watching Superstore right now well guys, I didn't do much of anything last night. I ate my dinner and watched some TV and made some scrunchies and that was pretty much it. So I think I'm gonna put the mushroom square on pause and I'm just going to move on to the next square and we'll see if we can figure that one out later. It looks like the next one is an offset granny square which should be just perfect. I like granny squares, they're nice and easy. I'm not sure if I've actually made an offset granny square but I mean like, I know what it is, so. It shouldn't be too hard. Biederman thought that it looked like a woman. Damn. This that was quick and easy. Nice, beautiful, flat. I'm gonna weave in my ends and then I'm gonna be moving on to the next square, which is another granny square, but it has like a heart motif on it. I'll probably work on like the rest of these four later. I just want to, you know, take videos for TikTok while the lighting is good the sun is out you know you know i just i just did the whole thing in the wrong color so okay i finished the heart square fixed it up i used blue instead of pink because i'm a silly gal that's it that is our last squares so i need to make three more of each of these so that i have four total and we just need to figure out if there's something I can do about this mushroom square. Did I do it wrong? I think I'm just gonna make the whole thing again. Technically, we've made all six squares. Three of them are completely done. Two of them have just one, and then this one is a uh, trial. All right, I finished all of these, which was three more of our heart granny squares and three more of our off-center granny squares. So I have officially got all of my squares, except for the mushroom ones. Four of these, four of these, four of our sunburst, four stripes, and four of the standard granny square. Let's see if we can make another mushroom, see if it is still all wavy, and if it is, then I guess uh, that's just how it's gonna be, I guess, yeah. Well, as you can see, I figured it out and this one is much better. So, <laughs> problem solved. All I need to do is I need to make three more of the mushroom squares and then we can start assembling the skirt. And I'm pretty sure that all we need to do is sew together the squares and add a waistband, which, which shouldn't be much. So I'm hoping we can finish it tomorrow because at this point tonight, it's eight o'clock. I might make a few more mushroom squares and I'll, I'll be done. I am making a TikTok out of this and basically the try on portion, I would like it to be in the daylight. So I wanna get up tomorrow, finish it by at least midday so that I can try it, the skirt on and get some shots wearing it while it's light out. 
if that makes sense. So yeah, basically I'm telling you good night and I'll see you in the morning. Hello, hi, hi, hello, good morning. I'm finishing up my very last square, my last mushroom square, and the last square overall for the skirt. I'm hoping that sewing it together won't take very long because I just, I wanna get it done, you know? I was hoping to get it done on Monday, but today's Monday, so I failed. And we have no video for Monday, sadly. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'll just have to post this on Wednesday. All right, we're done. This is a skirt. We've, we're finished. Look, a, a skirt. No, but actually officially finished with all of our squares. I'm very happy. And now I gotta, I gotta get some overhead shots. I gotta lay them out. I gotta with my camera and then we're gonna sew them together. Look at that, that's cute. Look at them, wow. So now I'm going to be looking at the diagram that they have in the pattern. I'm gonna lay out my squares and then I will be starting to sew them together. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm just gonna sew the front together and then I'll lay out the rest for the back panel. What do we think? The autopsy definitely determined that Georgette's death was not an accident. Here's our front panel all sewed together. Didn't take long, wasn't too bad. So there's that. All we need to do now is sew the back panel together, which is, I'm pretty sure it's the same. And then sew up the sides and then we gotta put on a waistband, okay? I am so close. I'm literally just sewing this together and um, it appears that the sun is going down. So I have failed once again, sadly, I don't know. I failed because I wanted to finish it before the sun went down today so that I could get shots wearing it, but I will still finish it today. I'll just, you know, I'll get up in the morning and then take the shots wearing it. So I guess that gives me more time to like get ready and, and style myself tomorrow, which will be good. Maybe I'll put some makeup on, I don't know, I don't know. Do any of you have a Dyson air wrap? I kind of want to try it. Anyway, yeah, I'll just be, I'll, I'll be working on the skirt for the rest of the night. I'm going to sew it up, put on the waistband, and wait until tomorrow. I'm starting the waistband. The DNA sample came back as a match to the hairs. Well guys, here's the waistband. It was real simple. It was just three rows of double crochets. I need to make the drawstring, which is also gonna be really simple. And then the bottom just needs like one or two rows of single crochet. So I'm gonna leave that for tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow we will be done. We'll finish everything. Good morning. We're doing some final touches. I'm gonna to go around the bottom with a few rows of single crochet and then all we have left to do is the drawstring make it put it through the waistband you know and then i'll get ready i'll, I'll uh, make myself look nice and, and stuff and then i'm gonna put it on currently i am weaving in the waistband I'm trying to sit up straight so that whenever I try this on, I don't have any creases in my stomach. Just girl things. Finished. I think that the drawstring waistband is gonna be super helpful because this is like, you know, it's, it's pretty much just a tube. But anyway, let me go and um, get pretty. And then we'll put it on. Okay. I am gonna wear spandex under this because I mean, it has holes in it, obviously. So we can tighten the waistband. So like where, where do we want it to sit? You know, like, like, do we want our belly button now or not?
Oh. Well, there it is. It's done. I kind of wish it was like a true mini skirt. Like, like you know, this is like fingertip length. Go with to school. <laughs> but like, what if we took off like the bottom row of squares? You know, it's not bad. I think. I don't know. The monitor's tiny. Well, that's all. That's all. That's all. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for being here. What do you think of the skirt? <laughs> do you like it? Mm, that is all. That's all. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.